We're gonna start out with a five minute warm up, 10 moves, 30 seconds each. We're gonna be starting with the sumo squat to stand. So feet are outside of the hips, toes are turned out, arms are overhead. We're gonna hip hinge, long legs. Then we're gonna sit down, butt comes below the knees if you can, arms come up and all the way up, okay? So I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna get going right away. In three, two, one, here we go. Hip hinge, sit, engage the core and squeeze. And don't forget to keep those knees tracking with the toes, don't let them fall in. We're not going super fast, this is the first exercise in the warm up, so take your time, get your form right. Fire up those glutes, so squeeze them on the way up. And there's gonna be no rest in between the moves. We're just gonna transition straight into the next move, which is gonna be forward lunges. We're just gonna take those arms overhead, bring that back knee down as low as you can. 90 degrees on the legs as much as possible. Okay, airplane, so feet are together. We're hip hinging, stretching that back leg out. Hips are square, come on up. Take your time. So warming up those little muscles in the ankle, all the way up. Big hamstring stretch too. All right, from here we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Just nice and easy, soft landing. Come to the back of the mat. You're gonna hip hinge and walk out. You're gonna give me a half push up and then walk in. Take it up. Hip hinge, walk out. You could drop to your knees here for that little half push up. Come back to plank and walk it up. Keep it going. Oh. You know what, we're gonna stay here for a whole minute just because it's a big move. to plank and just stay in plank and then we're gonna do a little spider-man so you're gonna bring foot to the outside of the hand and back change sides drop that back knee a little bit back to plank down and back down and back keep it going strong plank squeeze the glutes we're gonna stay here, we're gonna add a rotation. Up and back. Drop that knee, reach, strong plank. I'm gonna come up and we're gonna do some little pogo hops. So staying on the balls of your feet, up and down. Side to side. And 
and then we're done. So that was quick and not so easy, but now you're ready for our medicine ball circuit. Okay, this is a 15 minute medicine ball circuit. You're gonna find it pretty challenging for both cardio and strength. I'm using a six pound medicine ball. I'm doing five moves, three sets, using a 45, 15 interval, okay? So I'm gonna start the timer. I'm gonna show you the first move. I'm starting on one side of my mat and I'm gonna do a big side lunge, nice and low, a halo around my head into a squat wood chop back up. And same thing for 45 seconds all the way through. Here we go. Nice and deep, halo wood chop. Woo! So make sure you get your form before you increase speed, if that's what you're gonna do. You can always use a heavier medicine ball as well to make it more challenging, you know that. I thought this was gonna be enough for me. Big muscles here, getting that heart rate up. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So, recovering, getting a drink whenever you need to. Get ready. Excellent, all right. The next move is gonna be a forwards and backwards lunge with a pass, so arms go overhead, then you step that same leg back, pass it through, and we keep going on that side. Here we go, big step, reverse, pass. I'm just doing that little reset in the middle. You don't have to. Just helps me to center myself again. Wow, <laughs> that was hard. So, other side. <sighs> Try to use your legs to get down on that pass so your chest stays lifted as much as possible. Remember, it's the battle. Doesn't always look pretty, but you're trying. got number five move here, which is gonna start from a plank position. We're gonna do three mountain climbers. And then we're gonna step up and do a cross body wood chop and back down. All right, here we go. One, two, three, stand up, swing over, down. One, two, three, stand and swing, down. Really 
Brace those abs. And that is round one. Grab a drink, towel off, whatever you need to do, and come back for round two. All right, it's round two. So I'm gonna start the timer. And that definitely, the first round definitely had me very out of breath. Hope you guys are starting to sweat too. We're starting with the side lunge halo combo. So a nice big wide lunge coming up here. Lunge, halo, squat, wood chop, and up. Lunge, halo, squat, wood chop, and up. Maybe get a little bit deeper on that squat. your breath. Same thing, other side. Lunge, halo, squat, wood chopping up. Lunge, halo, deep wood chopping up. Lunge, halo, big swing. Using those arms, using those legs. And don't forget to brace your core, so belly is always in and braced to protect your spine. Okay, now we have our forward and backwards lunge with the little basketball pass. So you're at the back of the mat. Got some room at the front to step. Here we go. Lunge, reverse lunge pass. Reset a little bit if you want, or just step right into it. Same thing, other side. So these are big moves. Total body workout, really. And step the other foot forward. And pass. Reset. Almost there. And last, we're gonna do that little three mountain climbers cross body wood chop. So come on down. Okay. 
One, two, three, step in and swing and down. One, two, three, step and swing and down. Go at your own pace. Last round two. Let's get ready. Rest, whatever you need to do. Come back here for round three. Okay. Round three, final round. Timer's on. And we're coming to one side. We've got that side lunge, halo, wood chop. You know it by now, so you're gonna go maybe a little bit faster, a little bit deeper here. Bigger range of motion. Here we go. Low, high, swing, and up. Low, high, swing, and up. Come on. This is it, so we're really pushing it now. Same thing, other side. I'm just gonna grab a Kleenex really, really quickly. Yeah, that's what happens when you're working hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. Low, high, squat and swing. Low, high, squat and swing. Come on, down, up, squat and swing. Now you know why I only used a six pound medicine ball. Okay, next up we have our forwards and backwards. A little basketball pass. Strong arms, guys, really braced. And forwards and backwards. I'm gonna see if I can step right through. Forwards, backwards, no reset. A lot harder in terms of balance. That's okay. You choose. Push. Woo! Really felt it on the other leg there. So same thing. You should be breathing hard. I really hope you are. Step forward, other side. And down. And see if you can step right into that lunge again. Make it smooth.
That is tough. Tough on the quads and the glutes. All right, so this is it, guys. Into that mountain climber. One, two, three, stand and swing. Down. One, two, three, swing. Down. It's a long way to go on that stand. Your leg is way back. That's what makes it tough. It's a really long lunge. And don't forget to squeeze your glutes on the way up. Squeeze and down. I am really struggling with this one. That's where you should be. Shouldn't be easy. And that is it. All right. So, <laughs> I am gonna finish this off with a little bit of a cool down, okay? I'm gonna stretch things out. All right, so I've rolled my medicine ball out of the way. We're gonna just start here sitting. And what we're gonna do is just take one leg down to the floor, cross the other leg on top. And we're just gonna turn and twist a little bit. You should feel a stretch in the outer thigh of the, uh, the upright knee. And see if you can look over your shoulder a little bit more. Try to stand up straight, so no slouching. Just pull it up nice and high. See if you can keep your hand down and just keep twisting as far as you can go. And we'll stay here for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna uncross, recross, and now we're looking in the other direction. Remember, we're trying to stay, stay tall. You're feeling that stretch in the outer thigh, hopefully. And just we're looking over the shoulder trying to get a little bit more of a range of motion through the neck, the shoulders, stretching out the chest. Slowing your breathing down. And we're gonna stay here for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna face, you guys, I'm gonna face the front. Just open up those legs nice and wide. And I'm just gonna reach forward, walk those hands forward. You should feel a stretch in the back of the legs for sure. And uh, we're just hip hinging and we're reaching. And then if you can put those elbows down, go for it. You wanna make sure those toes are pointed up to the ceiling, that the legs are not falling in. You wanna keep opening them out. That's gonna get you that nice stretch, that nice engagement through the inner thighs. And we're just gonna reach and hold. I did a little skiing this weekend, an activity that I don't do very often. So those muscles are totally feeling it all in the groin and uh, inner thighs, calves. Yeah. So much snow here in Montreal right now. Unbelievable. I'm gonna lie down on my side next, so just come right down onto your side. And we're gonna stretch the quads on the top leg, so you're reaching for the ankle. And you're trying to keep your knees in line. Your bottom leg can be bent as well for more stability. And as you're pulling back, that pulling the knee back, you're, you're trying to keep it forward. So that is where the stretch is happening. It's that tug of war between your hip and your knee as your hand is creating tension, trying to pull it back. So squeeze your glute on that top leg as well and see if you can make that stretch a little bit deeper. We're gonna hold for five more seconds. Five, four, three, 
two and one and my leg is shaking. All right, same thing on the other side. I just have to move this around a little bit. I'll just take it off and put it down. All right, so bend those knees, grab the ankle, and then play a little tug of war. Stretching between the hip and the knee, the quad. Squeeze the glute, fire it up. And we've got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. From here, we're just gonna roll onto the front of our body, our bellies. You're gonna come onto your elbows. Elbows are under the shoulders. And we're gonna look down. You're gonna let that neck just be an extension of the spine. And we're thinking about stretching the front of the body. So kind of pulling those elbows back, like if you were gonna try to pull that mat underneath you, lengthening out. And then let's just squeeze those glutes really tight and hold here. Keep pulling those elbows back. My mat's actually moving. <laughs> and we've got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And uh, we're going to come up onto the knees now. And we're going to come into child's pose. I do like to finish in child's pose wherever I can. It's super relaxing. Well, I guess my receiver is kind of a little bit broken. I will fix it later. <laughs> you're going to bring the toes together. Knees are wide. And you're just going to walk the hands forward. Drop the head down if you can and just try to sit back on your heels as much as possible. So almost pushing the hands forward to get the heels and the butt a little bit closer together. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that, my friends, was the complete workout. You had a warm up, you had a 15 minute, pretty intense uh, medicine ball circuit, and then a quick little cool down to stretch things out and uh, bring the body back to normal. Well, as normal as it ever was, right? Anyway, if you enjoyed this one, please like and share. Um, if you're new to the channel, workouts are posted on Mondays and there's usually, well not usually, but sometimes there's something special in your mailbox on Wednesdays. I am going to be having something special show up this Wednesday, so make sure you look for that. You want to ring the notification bell so you don't miss it. And um, if you want to see what's coming up, follow me on Instagram at short circuits underscore fitness or on Facebook, just like my page short circuits. Keep letting me know what kind of workouts you want to see. You guys let me know last week you wanted to see a medicine ball circuit with strength and cardio. So I did one, you know, it's, it's like making dinner. It's easier when you know what you're gonna cook. So um, keep sending me in those ideas and suggestions. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all your support. Until next time, take care of you. Be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.